shifting baselines. This means that generations today have no idea how good the last one had it. Take my dad and I. He tells me when he was a little boy in a village in Hungary, he could scoop up a dozen fish in a bucket anywhere. I lived in that same village years later and I couldn't catch a thing, but I thought that was normal. You see, my baseline shifted from my dad's in terms of what I accepted as normal. But the Statlian First Nations in BC know the past because they listen to the stories of their elders. And the elders speak of deer. That's right, deer. Not even talking about rare polar bears or pandas, but the mule or the black-tailed deer once roamed BC in the thousands. Yet when I visit the Statlium today, we're lucky to find a handful of them together at any one time. And the Statlium, no, that's not normal. That's the danger of shifting baselines. We allow the species to become endangered or extinct because we forget the past and take for granted the now and realize too late that something has gone terribly wrong. Thankfully, the Statlium Traditions combined with science and satellite technology have already found the cause of the deer's decline, and that is habitat loss. The deer need tree cover in the winter so that their food stays unburied and so that they don't freeze to death. And my job is to take GPS locations and analyze exactly how the deer respond to where and when the snow accumulates, while tracking the specific type of habitat that they use to avoid the snow. Problem was there was no snow map that was both detailed and available on a daily basis for me to track individuals. So I combined different types of satellite imagery by taking the overall trend of snow cover and then overlapping images together. And that was an important step. Now even others can use my methods and maps and now I can find the areas we need to conserve for the deer survival, help influence policy and forest practices. And with work like this, my hope is that when I'm an old man like my dad, my kids and grandkids won't be shocked to hear about how much better things were when I was young, because there will still be plenty of deer and fish around. And hey, maybe there'll even still be pandas and polar bears. As long as we listen to the stories of our elders and keep their past alive to enrich all of our futures. Thank you.